Hey guys, this is uh, Cruz Roy with his uh, Quickie 18 Heli. Uh, as you remember, I've been having trouble with this thing, starting it and starting it and starting it. And uh, I pulled the motor apart a few times, cleaned it, uh, tried to start it. It seemed like uh, I, I think I was just not getting enough compression because it, it wouldn't run right. It wouldn't run smooth. It I was hard starting, you know, and and, and as you know, I had to order a uh, start shaft and uh, a new clutch because I tried to start it for such a long time, like probably almost uh, as long as the aligned battery will last and the aligned cordless charger. I started with it charged and ended up killing the battery before it even started to rum rumble. But uh, finally, I said I'm going to take it all apart again and uh, take the flywheel off this time and the fan and. You know, check for any maybe bearing is like locking up on it, causing it to slow the motor down and seize. But you know, uh, I, I goofed up. I uh, put a screwdriver in the exhaust port uh, to remove, you know, not the piston, but to remove the fan. And uh, it's not a pop off like the other one I have. It's actually threaded on, so you have to unthread it off the off the the crank and uh, when I did I uh, the screwdriver going into the exhaust port left the nick and I messed up the piston uh, and also there's a lot of play you know right now it, it seems tight but it's not it's the nick in the uh, the exhaust port that screwed it up um, I called Toki two or three times they said they have the parts they even say they have a brand new motor but they never give me an invoice or never call me back so I was having a real hard time finding any type of motor that would fit in this uh, they said the G Smart has an 18 motor in it the Pegasus has an 18 motor in it uh, but I couldn't take a chance of any of them fitting right uh, this has like a blue racing head on it like it's for a car um, so I can save that and you basically you your motor mount I mean it's a fairly simple motor this one had the pull start and uh, so I removed that to even try to start it because people were thinking that pull start was hanging up but it wasn't that but like I said in the meantime the start shaft is still in the bird I gotta try to get it out because it snapped above the baron and this is what happened to the clutch uh, it, it just rattled the pot from me trying to start and then when I got it started I was holding the blades and it was a high idle uh, to keep the motor running and I guess from high idle it just cooked the clutch and uh, wore a thin spot where it's ribbed and it snapped so uh, I called uh, Heli World or or Erwin there and, or John I think I talked to to order a new um, a new sh shaft a starter shaft and a new clutch so uh, just to show you this Toki motor um, it's an 18 it's painted black it says Toki right on it uh, I'm assuming it's a high performance uh, type motor. If I could get a piston and a sleeve for this, the Barons are good. She's real clean inside. Uh, it just really needs a piston and a new sleeve. I just can't find one anywhere. Um, and uh, I don't know if the carburetor leaks in here. There's a couple of O-rings. Maybe that was the whole problem originally too. The O-rings in here were uh, leaking or something. You know, I don't know much about the nitros. I'm new. I just know that. I've done everything the same with my Raptor and I've never had a problem and when I changed the fuel and everything on this it just started acting up. Um, so I was, I'm just assuming the motor's bad so I looked and looked and looked and looked and looked um, and like I said in the mail today I got the, the package from Erwin here and um, so I'll be able to put her back together. Um, I got the new the new clutch. Uh, I also have a clutch bell from the original owner. He gave me a new clutch bell and uh, clutch liner, so I'll have to check that. But the, the new pin, the new clutch, and the new uh, starter shaft. Uh, I don't know. This seems to be a, a weak point on this bird. I mean, that's only like four millimeters or under there. That's a real tiny shaft. So when you put that force of uh, the uh, aligned starter on there. I don't know. This is the second one already that I snapped. And uh, of 
course, like any other heli part, they're not cheap. But anyways, search it on the internet, this little box came in. And searching and searching and searching. Um, get something to cut the tape here. I found a Toki, brand new new Toki 18 that somebody had in the package and there's the label on it. So I'm thinking it was from uh, an original Quick Heli. Uh, it says Q18 Nitro uh, Quick Motor and uh, so it was $44 uh, so it was 50 bucks by the time I paid taxes and everything, so that ain't bad for a little nitro motor. Grab a pair of scissors. Uh, I did notice though that the, the gentleman who was selling it had the new blue head, but I figured I had a head. Why should I buy a new one? Because uh, that was an expense too for the bigger head, but um, there is some, some differences to this motor. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you, he already told me up front that it comes with a manual. Here is the Toki manual. Unfortunately, if you can see it, it's all in Japanese. So I'm thinking on scanning it and putting it on in Helifreak, there's got to be someone out there that can read this and transcribe it so I know all the information I need to know on this motor. That would be beautiful. But it is, it's in Japanese, so... Um, but here's the new Toki motor. It does have the smaller head. The gentleman recommended that I install the blue head for better cooling on the helicopter. Uh, I really hate to take it apart, but I guess... Uh, We'll start from there. Uh, this one has the original backing plate, so I don't have to worry about the shaft sticking out for the pull start. I really don't need the pull start because I never used it, so this is a better idea. The motor looks exactly like the other one. I have to do some work to the carburetor. I don't know if this shaft comes off so I can spin it around because uh, this one's actually in a different uh, position. Like this one's down. And this one's in the up position. I never messed with a carp, so I need this lever off of here for the heli. Um, like I said, it's not in, it's not black. Uh, I'm assuming it's probably the black one was a high performance uh, Toki engine, and this one don't have the power boost on it. Uh, this motor here, the old motor had a nipple right at the carburetor neck, and is like this. It looks like a. a a, micro, uh, a nitrous oxide booster canister on the side of the heli so this motor doesn't have it but it's the same motor he did recommend taking the head off and putting the blue head on but uh, it was pretty cool to find this uh, vintage old brand new uh, Toki 18 uh, it doesn't say Toki on it anywhere uh, I think that was to the pizzazz of the uh, the high performance one here that it says Toki right on it ground in but I mean the castings are uh, pretty identical it says made in Japan right here under the, the motor mount same thing on this one it's identical casting it's just I mean if I wanted to I could get probably black heat paint and make this flat black like the other one for looks I mean I don't really care as long as the helicopter runs and uh, can put me back on track because I do like the quickie 18 if the, I mean the six times I flew it I kind of like it. It's just you really can't find the motor for these things. Um, but that's where I'm at. I'm with this uh, Toki 18. I'm gonna dis disassemble the head. I'll put the blue head on, and I just gotta get the paperwork interpret interpreted. <laughs> um, let's put that right there. And like I said, I think I'll uh, scan this somehow get it on the internet there's got to be somebody out there that flies helis that know how to read Japanese and maybe we can get this it's only one page and uh, maybe we, I can get some information off of this you know but 
Um, I'm ready to, uh, I mean, every, and, and also, if anybody knows where to get a piston, a piston, a crank, and a new sleeve for a Toki 18 for a reasonable price, I mean, I buried myself buying this little motor. Um, I don't have a lot, but I'd like to rebuild the black one, and uh, I still think it was a compression issue because it just didn't want to start at all. And, uh, and, uh, Hope you can help me out. This is just a video to let me know, let you guys know what I'm up against right at the moment. Uh, try to get her back together and uh, maybe some tips on dialing this motor in. It don't have the boost, so I don't know if it's two and three quarters out. And do I touch any of these? This was brand new in a bag. Do I touch? I know one's for idle, one's for this little airport up front. Do I touch these at all? and just deal with the jet because you can't get at these once it's in the heli it's, it's very difficult so any tips from anybody anybody that knows how to speak Japan, uh, Japanese let me know I'll scan this send it over maybe you can get the information I need off of this um, and I just wanted to let you guys know that there was an original I don't know where it came from but it says quick heli motor on there so I'm assuming it's uh, originally from the guys I mean the Pennsylvania helicopter, but where they got the motor from. All right. And uh, this is Cruz Roy, and thanks for watching, and happy flying.